Welcome, my name is Shahada Kareem. I'm a wellness guide and a yoga instructor in Los Angeles, California. For this flow, we'll learn how to use yoga poses to get deep, restful sleep and to wake up fully refreshed the next morning. This lesson is brought to you by Purple, maker of the Gravity Blanket. This blanket distributes 35 pounds of weight across your entire bed, or if you like me, you double it so that the blanket is even heavier. When I was younger, my first dog used to sleep on my feet, and I find that if I take this blanket and lay it across my feet before I go to bed, I sleep better. It's just a security thing. This blanket does help reduce stress, and I think that's part of it. Just having the weight on my feet makes me feel better. Let's start this practice by sitting tall. Cross your ankles however feels comfortable and place your hands palm side down on your legs. Pull your shoulders back and down, lift your chest and take a big breath in and a big breath out. Take your right hand and place it on the left side of your head and guide your head over to the right. Relax both sides of your shoulders, your right and your left, away from your ears so that you can get a full extension in the left side of your neck. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Now guide your chin halfway towards your chest to get into the left back side of your neck. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your breath nice and steady. Take one more inhale and one more exhale. Now bring your chin down towards your chest. Take your left hand, place it at the base of your neck and guide your head down towards your chest. Round your shoulders, soften your breath, really round your back. Take one more inhale and one more exhale. Release your right hand, bring your head a little to the left, the same way you did on the right. Sit tall. Bring your chin close to your chest, but not all the way in contact. Release your shoulders away from your ears and stretch the back right side of your neck. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Now guide your head over to the left. Just soften your shoulders. Let your breath do most of the work. Let gravity do the rest. Relax your belly, relax your glutes. One more breath in and one more breath out. Now release your head, bring it back up, turn your head to the right and then to the left. Maybe go in a semicircle if that feels good without the added, and added weight from your hands. And then come back up, pull your shoulders back and down. Now separate your legs so that your right foot comes in front of your left. It looks like you're crossing your ankles, but you haven't tucked. You have both feet on the floor. Twist your body to the left and then walk your body over to the left and drop your head down to your left knee. It's okay if your head doesn't touch your knee. Just round your right shoulder down, keep your right hip glued to the mat, and breathe into the back of your right rib. Take one more breath in, and one more breath out. Round yourself up, come back to center, and switch out your legs. Place your left foot in front of your right, now twist to the right and walk your body over to your right knee. Drop your left shoulder down, bring your forehead as close to your knee as you can. Keep your breath nice and steady no matter what. And if you find that your hips are starting to lift off the ground, just come back a little bit, but keep your spine nice and round. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Walk yourself back up. Now bring the soles of your feet to touch. It's okay if your knees come up a little high, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you're relaxing. You're sitting in such a way that you can breathe and relax. If you find yourself straining or really gripping your feet, pull your feet away from your body. That'll help your legs relax a little bit more. Now take your hands, pass them underneath your ankles, palm side up, and then get down to your forearms, round your spine. Bring your hands around your feet, and then just drop your head straight down. It doesn't matter if your head doesn't touch your feet, lift your breath into your back so that you can relax your head down. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Come on up by sliding your hands back underneath your legs. Use your hands to pull your knees shut and come up to all fours. Stack 
your knees under your hips, stack your wrists under your shoulders. First, brace yourself by lifting your belly up a little bit and spreading your collarbone. Then as you inhale, come to cow pose. Drop your belly, lift your head, lift your hips. As you exhale, round your spine for cat pose. Really dome your back. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Come back to neutral. Walk your hands back and walk your knees slightly forward. Tuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Lift your chest up, drop your shoulders down, relax your glutes. The key to staying in this pose is to relax and breathe. If you feel sensation in the base of your feet, that's normal. You're breaking up scar tissue in your feet. So sensation, discomfort, totally normal. Just hang out here for as long as you can. Breathe slow and steady. Wherever you found yourself, take one more breath in and one more breath out. Come up to all fours, untuck your toes, tap out the tops of your feet. That should feel really good. Come on up, turn your body around, bring your legs out in front of you. Straighten your legs, you're gonna slide your feet under your blanket with your toes pointing forward. The last pose we did stretched out the base of your feet, now we're gonna stretch out the top of your feet. The weight of this blanket will give you an added stretch. So if it feels really intense, just bend your knees a little bit. But if you like, you can really pull your butt back, point your toes, and maybe even slide the top of your body forward. It really depends on what feels comfortable for you. We're not gonna strain or fuss about any of the poses. Just breathe into them and do what works for your body. Take the shape that feels good, and whatever that shape is, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Come on up. If you hinged forward, bring your feet out from under the blanket, bend your knees, and lay back on the mat. Take the blanket with you, just the corner of it, drape it across the top of your knees, lay back onto the mat. Let the weight of the blanket help you situate and press your low back into the mat. Pull your navel down, soften your shoulders away from your ears. Together, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Now reach up, lift the edge of the blanket and let both of your knees slide to the right. Now you're in a twist. Situate yourself so that you can lift your right rib cage and soften your left shoulder down. Let the blanket rest on your legs and your hip. Let it press your legs down without using your hands. Relax and breathe. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Now this gets tricky. Press yourself up onto your forearms. Twist your upper body all the way around until you are laying on your belly. You're still in the twist, you're just going in the opposite direction. Now that should feel really good on your hips. Twist your body so that your left rib cage is close to the floor. Keep breathing. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Now press yourself up to your forearms, come back around. We're gonna go all the way around to the other side. So shift yourself however you need, lift the blanket, let both of your knees fall to the left. Scoot your booty down, lay back, soften both shoulders to the mat, this matters. Let the weight of the blanket pull your knees over to the left and relax your body. breath in and one more breath out. 
Press yourself up onto your forearms. Twist your body all the way around. Now your legs should be flush on the ground. Drop your chest down to the mat. Keep your breath nice and steady no matter what. Take one last inhale and one last exhale. Press yourself up to your forearms. Come all the way back around. Scoot forward, lift the blanket, bring the soles of your feet to touch. So if you wanna know what that looks like, it's just like when we were sitting up, right? So have the soles of your feet touching, pull the blanket back onto you, lay back. This might get a little intense because this blanket is heavy. So be clear that this is a weighted blanket. You will feel it. It'll press your legs open, but really help you relax, soften your back down to the mat, let your breath come steady so that you can unravel and release your body. Take one more big breath in and one more breath out. Come on up to your forearms, lift the blanket, Close your legs, come all the way up, scoot your booty back. This is the best part, I promise. Get your body all the way under the blanket. Pull it up to your chest, scoot forward and lay back. You can leave your arms out, no matter what, have your palms facing up. If you're like me, you're gonna wanna put your arms under the blanket. No matter what, palms face up, pull your shoulders away from your ears, let your feet flop open, relax and breathe. You can stay here for as long as you need. The whole point of this flow is to relax, to open your body and unravel your muscles and joints so that when you finally fall asleep, you can really rest. Thank you so much for flowing with me tonight. My name is Shahada Kareem. It was my honor to be your guide. If you'd like to learn more about this amazing blanket, check out the details in the description and please come back and tune in for more videos with me and Desireless. Namaste.